Hi, I'm Matt from Mythbusters, and today we're going to do a instruction manual on the bent and billiard pipes. Real quick, the batteries first. The battery for this pipe is an IMR18350 or a uh, Ultrafire 16340. So 18350s or 16340s will work in the pipe. If it's a 16340, I recommend putting positive post down into the pipe and vaping that way. Now, if you have a button top 18350, you may need to turn the battery upside down. This particular one does not have a proud post. It's actually kind of recessed. So if you put it in this way, it may or may not work. Um, just flip the battery area around. Positive post up, and it'll work. Now another thing about this, the batteries for this pipe. If you plan on using the 306 atomizer in your pipe with the pipe drip tips that we're coming out with, these aren't on the website yet because we had some trouble with them and I wanted to see what was going on. I was using these batteries with the 306 in the pipe and after a while, after a couple puffs, it would stop working. The battery was fully charged, the atomizer was fine, uh, all the connections were good, but for some reason it wouldn't vape and I didn't know why. Then I started hearing that people were having problems with their egos blowing. Their ego battery would totally just stop working uh, after using it with a 306 LR. So I realized that these not being high drain batteries have an they have an over discharge circuit in them and because the Cisco 306 LRs draw so much current to them it ends up tripping the discharge circuit in this battery. So I went and got high drain 18350s and we will be selling these on the site if you plan on using the 306 LR this will be the battery that you need. Uh, it's a good battery for any atomizer really but um, Use this battery with it, and you'll have no problems with the the LR atomizer. So next up, you've seen the 306 drip tip. Very nice, very sharp, very short. We have now the Type B curved and straight, like this one, drip tip for the Ego Mega Type B. Um, it just force fits into the Type B like any other drip tip. Even though it's curved, you can drip into it, works great. A little bit longer draw on the Type B atomizer, um, but really not that bad. Now one thing I want to mention about these Type B atomizers, and this is important information for both the prototype and the billiard, anybody that wants to try a regular resistance uh, Ego atomizer, Type A or Type B, these don't run at a standard 3.2 to 3.5 ohms. They run at 2.4 ohms, which to me is a sweet spot for vapor. Um, gives great flavor, great uh, vapor production. The only downside to these is it takes forever for them to break in. Uh, I was When I was at the vape meet, a couple guys bought some pipes and they were trying them out and they'd get like no vapor off a brand new atomizer. And it'll make you think that there's something wrong with your pipe. There's nothing wrong with the pipe, it's the atomizer. They come pre-flooded. So jet clean your atomizer like I show you in the video where you use a syringe and you actually blow all of the fluid that's comes in the atomizer, you blow all that out, uh, then dry it with canned air or compressor. If you have to, leave them resting overnight. If you do all that, the atomizer performance is going to be much better on the first vape. If you don't do all of that, your atomizer is going to taste funky and give really, really poor vapor for probably, I don't know, the first at least couple hours, if not day. Um, 
even if you blow it, just blow it out, it's still going to have very, very poor vapor production. But after you break it in, this will be one of the best atomizers you've ever used. Pretty decent amount of vapor, not huge like the 306, but in my opinion, really good. Not an incredibly long draw, not the shortest draw, uh, but these atomizers, I've had these atomizers last me three, four months. They're great. Just keep them clean and they'll last you a long time. So from there, we'll go on to the switch. Now the switch is pretty interesting. Go ahead and take take the atomizers off so I don't have a misfire. <clears throat> Your pipe cap has a dot on it and the pipe bowl has a dot on it. These two dots are to line up the grain of the pipe with the cap. Now if you want to switch the button out, or the switch, whoop, just take your switch, drop it into the hole of the cap, put your battery in the pipe, line up the two dots, and it's set. Now if you have an off-size battery and the cap doesn't quite fit right, it stays up like that. If I push this down it, it's going to set just fine. But if for some reason your cap is a little loose and it doesn't want to fit right, you can actually just trim this spring with a pair of wire cutters down just a little bit, just take a little bit off of it and the cap will fit right nice. And you just take your atomizer, hook it up, and you're ready to vape. So if you want atomizers, drip tips, uh, spare buttons, all of that stuff that's available on the site, kind of a la carte, you just pick what you want and we'll get it to you. So that's it. That's the instruction manual for the Benton Billiard Pipes. Like I said before, very interchangeable, very adaptable, nice and small. Now you've seen it, go get you one. Thanks for watching the Mistbusters.